Well, good evening, folks. Happy Halloween to you. It's the 31st of October, which means, yeah, it's Halloween. So I hope you're all having a fab night, you know, if you're deciding to celebrate it or if you're not having a great day anyway. So thank you very much for popping over just to check out this very quick, very easy recipe. You loved the last slow cooker recipe, so I've pulled the slow cooker out again and I've made this absolutely delicious hamburger hash comfort food at its best. It's delicious. But just before I move on and show you what I've done, thank you very much to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page once again, guys. You know, it does mean ever so much, so thank you very much. So hamburger hash, this recipe was actually sent to me by a subscriber. She gave it a completely different name. I think it was Southern Style Hamburger Casserole, something along those lines, but I've shortened it to hamburger hash because I think it just sounds, you know, it's a wee bit shorter, but whatever you want to call it, it is absolutely delicious like I said, the ultimate in comfort food. And because it's been done in the slow cooker, you know, it's very, very easy to make, you know, come back four hours later and you've got yourself a beautiful, comforting, warming dinner that all the family are going to love. This will serve between four and five people. I'll leave all of the ingredients and quantities in the show more box underneath this video, just in case you want to come back at a later date and make it for yourself. So just a handful of ingredients. So let's move on and I'll show you how I put this together. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is spray my pan with some oil because the minced beef that I'm using is very, very lean. But if you're using quite a fatty minced beef, then you probably won't need any oil as long as you're using a non-stick pan. So you just want to break that up and, you know, fry that until it's nice and browned all over. It'll only take you a few minutes, it won't take you long. You don't have to cook it all the way through because obviously it's going into your slow cooker and set your slow cooker to high. And just for reference, my slow cooker is three and a half litres. Then in a bowl, you want to get your spices. So I've got some garlic, parsley, salt, paprika and pepper. And your quantities are on the screen. You just want to mix those together and use that as a seasoning. So you want to put down a layer of, of your potatoes. Now, I've cut these about a quarter inch thick. You want them quite thick, but not too thick because you do want them to cook, obviously. And on top of your first layer of potatoes, you want to put some of your onions and then a good sprinkling of that seasoning. I'm going to be doing three layers, so you want to use a third to begin with. And then some of your minced beef on top of that. And I'm using two different kinds of cheeses. I've got red Leicester and cheddar, but you use whatever you like. And the amount of cheese you use is obviously up to you. So you just want to repeat that process another twice. So your potato, your onion, your seasoning, then your minced beef or ground beef, whatever you like to call it, and then your cheese on top of that. And then a final layer of your potato, and then your onions again, your remaining seasoning and your remaining beef. And then your remaining cheese on top of that. Now you just want to cover everything with about 150 ml of chicken stock. You can use beef stock if you prefer. This is just to give it extra moisture and flavour. So you want to leave this on high for four hours and you'll come back and it'll look something like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> See the smell off of this? It was absolutely crazy. And it wasn't dry at all. As you can see round about the edges there, there are, you know, there's tons of moisture in here. And the further down you go, you know, the mushier and lovelier it gets. <laughs> but this was absolutely delicious. And it's quite cheap to make as well. You consider, you know, how much food you've actually got in here. This will serve, like I said, four to five people generously. I just start, served this with some crusty bread on the side, or at least I had crusty bread on the side. Mr. Watts for tea had some broccoli and the girls actually had baked beans with theirs. So I mean, you can serve this however you like. I just like it, you know, on its own with some crusty bread. I think I don't think it needs any more than that. And this was the end result. As you can see, it did go down a storm. But we do love these kinds of things in the house, you know, sort of mincy potato, onion, the cheese, the garlic, all things that we love. So when the recipe was suggested to me, when I seen the ingredients, I just knew we were going to love it anyway. Highly recommended if you do like these kinds of things. And obviously, 
if you've got a slow cooker. I think you might, you know, be able to do it as well on the stove top if you don't have a slow cooker, but I think you'd have to cook it for a wee bit longer. I'm not really sure how that would work, but highly, you know, I do recommend investing in a slow cooker because they're quite inexpensive now. I mean, you can pick one up for 20, 25 pounds and it's surprising how often you will use it. You know, there are hundreds and hundreds of excellent slow cooker recipes out there. I just love it. But I'm going to go now. That's my ramble for the day. So once again, happy Halloween to you. And thank you very much for taking 10 minutes out of your day to spend with me. And until I see you, which is going to be tomorrow for Meals of the Week, you take care of yourselves and I'll see you off soon back here on What's For Tea. So bye for now. Bye now. <laughs>